Nobody likes a sad face. Nobody likes a bad face. Always keep smiling. It, you look more charming, you look more attractive. And now, a uh, few aspects I would like to just mention to teachers. Uh, firstly, teachers are the ultimate for any student. Any words said by a teacher are the last words, whether it relates to the knowledge, teaching, or ethics, or the moral values, or any of the aspects which are taught in the school. And the children and the students always have a lot of expectations from the, uh, from the teachers. And we emulate our teachers. Like I, I, I remember my very good teachers right from my primary school and school and the college. And we appreciate them. We appreciate them for various things. We try to emulate them for various things. The way they conduct themselves, the way they speak, the way they have the knowledge, the way they even dress up at times. Some of the teachers, they dress up well. You, you try and emulate that. that yeah, I want to look like that. I want to have something, a feel of that kind. So you have a, a lot of responsibility. The people, the, your students look up to you with a lot of expectations. Encourage all children. Now, there you will find some students very sharp, very, uh, their uptake is very good, they are brilliant, outspoken, but you'll find certain group of students which are a little shy, hesitant, may not be that confident, maybe a little slow in their uptake, but you've got to take them with you, encourage them, and bring them at par. And lastly, uh, see the potential of each student. You are the best person who can see the potential of each child. Share that potential with the parents. It could be in the form of creativity, it could be in the form of sports, it could be in the form of dramatics or singing, anything. But share that. Your prospectus gives out beautifully the mission, aims, and objectives. I wish all the uh, teaching staff to achieve whatever is given in that and wish them all the best. Now, few aspects for the parents. Now, a lot, of, lot many times our children, they feel little contradictions. What they learn from the school, they learn from the textbooks, biography, the life of uh, various statesmen, uh, great people, they learn value system from the textbooks, and then they are taught from the school by the teachers. Okay, this is the way of doing a right thing. This is the way you must speak. Be honest, be truthful, be straightforward. These all things they pick up from the school. And when he at, at home, at times, it is our nature. You see a parent or somebody in a family member saying, okay, somebody's come, tell him I'm not at home. Or a phone call coming, tell him I'm not at home, I'm busy somewhere. Now these are the small, small things which the children are observing. And he gets these contradictions. Okay, what he's learning from the school is something different. What he's seeing in the home is something different. Similarly, there are various aspects. Like a ch your child is going with you in a car. And you flout the traffic rule. You jump the light. He is again observing it. Okay, I have learned from the school that follow the rules, follow this, follow that, and something is not happening that way. So these are very small, small things. Like you got to inculcate in the children the habit of taking certain responsibilities at home. Even if you have a lot of servants at home, you are from a very affluent family, you still give him some small responsibilities. And when he does it, appreciate it. Tell him, yes, it is well done. Encourage your child to participate, even if he is four years, five years, six years, doesn't matter. Participate in every aspect at home. Suppose you want to buy a furniture, you want to buy a car, you want to do the interior decoration, ask his views. Okay, okay we are trying to do this. What do you say? What should we buy? How should we buy it? It's a very small aspect he might give it, but this builds up his confidence and independence. Very important. Similarly, uh, there is a habit. We waste a lot. 